Uh, hi there. Uh, hi Germany. Hi bedroom riots. Uh, this is Anastasia from Perforated Cerebral Party. And today is April 30th. And live from St. Petersburg with love. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about what the situation here is today and what we see as just being here and you, you know us as being the driving force uh, behind somatic sound system which is a big scene of artists in Russia and in Europe and I'll tell you a little bit about that and how we get into it so first of all today was supposed to be the last day of the quarantine measures but of course it is not uh, it's prolonged until uh, May 12th at the least officially but of course it's gonna be much longer than that and when it comes to public events, of course, it's gonna be much and much longer. And we know that and we learned to live with that. <laughs> uh, at first, when this all started, of course, uh, we were totally devastated and the uh, events uh, didn't go through and the booked artists couldn't fly in. Clubs closed. He's there, he's filming me and he will be helping me if I stream all. <laughs> so yes, of course, all the venues are closed and many of these venues won't be able to reopen, of course, because uh, the economical measures for helping small businesses and for helping clubs are not enough, are not sufficient and uh, the people who are renting down uh, renting out the places of course they do want their uh, money and uh, the clubs are not able to pay it so a lot of venues are gonna be closed when we are out of it uh, we personally were very lucky to close one venue in january uh, and uh, we're in the process of reopening in a new place and we couldn't do it, <laughs> so luckily we're like, okay, otherwise we would have been like totally. And as you can see, we were in the process also of renovating our living room, <laughs> which is stagnated now. So we're kind of living without wallpaper. There is life without wallpaper. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> we're kind of getting used to it and didn't get any lot of out of it because it turned out to look very nice at the photos and stuff. So we decided to unite our scene, our artists uh, around uh, recording a compilation, a COVID-19 compilation. This would be, by the way, the, <laughs> how, uh, how would you say it? What, what, ah, I forget the word. Anyway, this is gonna be the picture for the compilation. <laughs> <laughs> And picture making in this place <laughs> yes yes it's a photo within a photo and now it's uh, our friends oh, oh. Uh, sasha sokolova make this yes now it's not enough. painting so you see that we even got some art already out of it and definitely will get much more art out of it <laughs> when the fuck is happening that? i don't know it's like it's we're supposed to be like totally on quarantine that somebody is ringing the doorbell and ringing the telephone. I don't know who that is. I'm not going to open. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry for that distraction. Getting back to, so you have to understand that Russia is a totally huge country with a lot of districts and the situation in each district is different. And, uh, the Kremlin said, okay, you guys do what you think is right on the spots and that's it. And we'll see how that works. Uh, in Moscow, it's very strict. They can move around only by signing in uh, on uh, like... Uh, Now, sorry, we had to break off because actually I was just going to say the government measures. Actually, there was somebody at the door right now who brought us some food. 
<laughs> volunteers. <laughs> some volunteers who brought us some food <laughs> from like Russian supermarket. <laughs> so what we, what we have there, it's like, it's totally true. <laughs> it's, like, it's basic. Uh, Скажи, что мы не хотели открывать сначала. We, we did not want to open naturally because we didn't know who was behind the door. And, but, but this, yes, the arena, we have to, that we received it. Алло. So, да, забрали продукты, so спасибо большое. Now we tell you, okay, we've received the... Спасибо, спасибо. Because, and... But, uh, so, you know, it's not for everybody, it's only for people older than 65, and basically it's uh, for both fathers. Да, спасибо, что он в этой квартире, он прописан yeah, по because, закону. Uh, he's supposed to be here, but uh, he's not. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, because he's assigned to this apartment, so. That's what we get. That's all the help from the government that we get. We know that in uh, a lot of countries the government gave out like some money to every citizen. They're not doing that in Russia, definitely. And uh, what we are seeing now is that even the most liberal guys are saying, okay, do it as strict as you like and only give the people out some money. But they say, no, we're not going to go as strict as you want it, and we're not going to give you any money either. So this is all you're going to get if you're over 65. And so there is some canned food, and uh, personally, uh, the only precautions I take when I go to the store, I wash all the products with soap first. So I'm not sure if we can open that right now. <laughs> Maybe I have to go and wash it first. So those are, but for the rest, uh, uh, I have to say that uh, in St. Petersburg here, the authorities are pretty reasonable about uh, people who are not over 65 moving around, they can move around. You're supposed to wear masks. Me personally, I don't because I'm not sick and I do know that the mask is good for... If you're sick, that yes, it's gonna protect maybe some people around you, but it's not gonna protect me if somebody is sick next to me. So I'm aware of that, so I'm not wasting any money on the masks. Uh, how we'll come out of it, we'll see. How long it's gonna take. We don't know. Uh, the most like uh, negative uh, thoughts about it that the flights are gonna be down for a year. What we hear now from like some people in the administration, because of course all the international flights are down. Some planes are supposedly flying around Russia, but actually we do not know <laughs> if they get there or not. Uh, there are some packages arriving with big delay arriving around Russia. Uh, asked if uh, I went to the post office, asked if uh, I will be able to mail something to Germany. Uh, they said, yes, you will be able to. Please give me your money and the package. For real, when it's gonna arrive there, if it's gonna arrive there ever, we don't know, so I didn't do it. <laughs> I have some more questions about now. How is the scene affected by the virus? Yeah. I told you about that. That. Ты скажи, что самое главное непонятно, что больше нанесет урон, сам вирус или паника и последствия людей в депрессии, запертыми, без работы и без этого. Что непонятно, чем это кончится. So, okay, so the scene is we are preparing a compilation. When uh, this is all over, we're gonna have a big somatic fest. Офигенно, я тебе говорю, что это... For real? Yes, I'm gonna translate now what Вова said. It's not... Uh, it's not clear now what's gonna be... Uh, like, what's gonna have the bigger impact. The virus itself, all the panic and the fear around it. Because, of course, all the businesses, all the small businesses are already down. There is no economical support for them. Whatever they say on the TV, the help is not coming through. And how we're gonna come out of it, 
we don't know and when. So for now, yeah, we have some oil, <laughs> you can see there's some canned food that we can survive. Сыграем немножко музыки для вас. We can, yeah, of course, we got to making music. We were in the process. Да, скажу, что у нас много времени появилось на музыку. Now we have, of course, as everybody else, probably a lot of free time to make some music. We were supposed to finish up the album and the big budget video we were in the process of shooting. We were supposed to finish it by May 30th and have big presentation and big concert hall. Of course, the concert hall is closed and the video is in the middle of shooting we cannot go through because uh, we can't get all the people together. Ну скажи, что мы хотим поблагодарить очень наших слушателей за то, что они не вернут не требуют вернуть деньги за наши and, uh, за наше шоу, которое они уже заплатили. We want to say thank you to our audience who bought already the pre-sale tickets to the show and they're not demanding their money back because of course when this is all over we're gonna come back strong and we're gonna do this presentation and we're gonna finish all our projects and we're gonna get back on track and the album is gonna be even bigger, longer, more perfect than it would have been if it wasn't for this quarantine. And we hope you're all doing well and doing a lot of creative stuff as well and we wish you all to don't be depressed to try to get as much out of it as you can and put it into some creative product. Ну все, давай уже закругляться, а то нам загрузить будет сложно. Okay, bye. Скоро увидимся, надеюсь. We hope to see you all soon in person on some festivals and do some gigs on Rebellion and Trauma. Peace and love.